let's talk about mounting and humping because puppy owners often have to deal with this kind of behavior, even when their dogs are very young. Puppies can start humping from the age of two to four months. There are multiple types of humping. There is dominant humping, sexual humping, and humping caused by excitement. And we have to know how to properly differentiate between them. We can say with great certainty that if your puppy humps your arms, feet, soft furniture, or toys, it's definitely not domineering. We can only talk about dominance after the puppy enters puberty. Moreover, it is believed that interspecies domineering doesn't exist. But if we go a bit deeper into domineering, this term is often avoided nowadays because it is associated with an incorrect theory of dominance, with alpha behavior and so on, and quite aversive methods of working with a dog. But if we're talking about social humping, where a male dog is humping another male dog of around the same age, it usually happens between adult dogs and usually with animals in a similar age bracket. Social humping is usually done over the front part of the body, somewhere around the crest. At the same time, the male mounting the crest looks very tense. His mouth is usually closed, quite glassy, attentive eyes, ears are pointed forward. He's very uptight because he's waiting for the other male, the one underneath, to start growling, in which case our dog will immediately start fighting. This situation is all about socially hierarchical humping. In the case of sexual mounting, usually this is done by animals in the period of growth when a hormonal revolution takes over their bodies, and they still don't quite understand what exactly they need to do, but nature is telling them to hump. Very often males will mount the back part of other dogs' bodies, often of females. Sometimes they get an erection. This behavior is normal for the species. There is, of course, no sense in reinforcing it. We just take the dog down and try to switch its focus onto something else. But for now, we're mostly interested in humping in puppies. More often than not, it is about being overly excited. They're just like human children who, when too excited, lose control over their emotions, can throw a tantrum, start crying, stomping feet, and making fits, just because they can't yet control their emotional ups and downs. Same goes for puppies. When the puppy is trained or played too much, when it has a lot of impressions from the day, it can start humping out of mere overexcitement. Often it's humping the arms or legs of the owner. It can be stuffed toys or soft furniture humping. If it's a male dog, it is natural for them to have an erection. So what are we supposed to do when this happens? Well, it doesn't make any sense to scold the puppy for not being able to control its emotions. I hope you understand. Scolding in this case will not bring any result, especially for a negative one. The puppy might start being afraid of the owner. Ideally, the owner should, of course, organize the training process and the day in general in such a way that the puppy won't end up getting overexcited. We've got to constantly control the balance of excitement and relaxation so that our dog has an opportunity to sleep regularly, recover physically and mentally. If our dog starts humping, we can use a marker of bad behavior, for example, na 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 or no, and move the dog away from our leg. In the case of very small decorative breeds, we can simply raise our arm or foot so that humping becomes impossible to realize. Of course, if our puppy is mounting certain toys or dog beds, it is better to hide these objects in order not to reinforce this behavior. So we take away the toy for two to three weeks, at the same time working with the balance of excitement and relaxation, and the puppy will simply forget that it ever tried to mount that toy. If the puppy humps arms and legs, then we can take it off the arm and switch their attention to other types of behavior. We can command it to do a visual search, play shoo shoo shoo. We can ask it to do some static exercises, whatever we have in our training toolbox. For example, a set of sit, stand, lie commands. As we have already mentioned, the puppy humps because of overexcitement. So ideally, we're going to take advantage of the exercises that contribute to calming our dog's nervous system. For example, visual search, the search command. We've already mentioned that visual search calms the dog's nervous system. We've also got the set of sit, stand, lie commands, the Zen command, and others that can help the dog to calm down. <laughs>